Welcome to the Old Tom Radio Superman Show. This is your host, Adam Graham. And we are now missing Jimmy Olsen's aunt, and we're going to find out where she's at and what's going on. Uh, before we do get uh, started too much in the show, I want to encourage you to check out Laser and Sword magazine. Lasersword.adamsweb.us. If you love serial fiction, you'll love Laser and Sword, and we're going to be having our next newsletter come out uh, shortly here. Um, Buzz, we're going to go ahead and get started now. Oh, also, please cast your vote for us at Podcast Alley, podcastalley.com. Uh, if you like the program, this helps the program grow and increase in listenership. All right, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into The Lighthouse Point Smugglers, Part 4. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! <laughs> It's a plane! It's Superman! And now, Superman, mighty visitor from another world who came to Earth when the planet Krypton was destroyed by quakes and explosions. Superman, who can bend steel in his bare hands, leap tall buildings at a single bound, race a speeding bullet to its target, and walks about among human beings disguised as mild Clark Kent, news reporter for a great metropolitan paper. Curious events at Horn House, the New England home of Jimmy Olsen's Aunt Louisa, have led Jimmy and Clark Kent to believe that a group of smugglers is using the place, together with its old lighthouse and dock, as a secret base. Queer sounds in the cellar below the kitchen, lamps in the lighthouse, which has been dark for two generations, strange behavior on the part of old Miss Horn herself. When we last saw them, Kent and Jimmy had rushed out to the lighthouse and captured a man who had been signaling from the tower after a chase that left the stranger unconscious. While still at the lighthouse, Kent and Jimmy had received an urgent plea for help from old Aunt Louisa back in the kitchen of Horn House in the form of three sharp rings of the house telephone bell, a signal for help suggested to her by Kent. As our story continues today, Jimmy and Kent are hurrying back over the stretch of beach to Horn House, carrying the unconscious figure of the stranger between them. Listen. Steady, Jimmy. Look, why don't you run on ahead? No, I'll stick here with you, Mr. Kent. You couldn't carry this guy all by yourself. Oh, yes, I could. Anyway, we're almost there. Who do you think he is? Can't imagine. We'll hang on to him until we find out, I can tell you that. Hey, look. Look ahead. Didn't we leave your aunt in the kitchen with the lights lit? Golly, that's so. Now the lights are out. It's dark. The whole house is dark. Aunt Lou! Aunt Lou! She must have needed help, or she wouldn't have rung the telephone. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, here we are. All right, open the door. Okay. Golly, it's dark. Aunt Lou. Here. Drop this fellow on the floor for now. There we are. All right, find the switch. I, I've got it here. Wait, Scott, Mr. Kent, look. The cellar door. We left it closed and now it's open. Jimmy, what's that whining? Sounds like a dog in the closet. It's Tiger. Aunt Lou must have shut him in. But what for? And where is she? I don't know where she is, but I know where she went. She opened the door and went down in the cellar. Come on, Mr. Kent. We've got to find her, quick. Wait a minute. That dog, Tiger. Does he know you, Jimmy? Will he do what you say? Sure he will, but what do you want? We'll make him stand guard over this fellow on the floor. Come on, let him out. Hurry. Careful, Jimmy. Hey, stop him. Stop him. He's going for the guy. No. No, he's not. Jimmy, look, he knows him. The dog knows him. He's licking his face. By golly, you're right. Hey, stop it. Stop it, Tiger. Tiger. Mr. Kent, who is he? Search me, Jimmy. We can't wonder about that now. We've got to find your aunt. Come on, down the cellar door. No, Jimmy, wait. I may be wrong. You go upstairs and look all over. Look through the library. She never went there. It's been locked for years. Oh, never mind. Look everywhere. We can't afford to miss her. I'll go down cellar. Now, if you find her, yell out. Quick now. Okay. I'd rather come with you, Mr. Kent. If you say look upstairs, that's what I'll do. That's the boy. What about this guy here? I'm afraid he's hurt more than I thought. We can't do anything about that right now. Not till we find Miss Horn. Go along, Jimmy. Okay, Mr. Kent. Tiger, you stay right there. You hear? Stay there. Oh, thank heavens. Got rid of Jimmy. She didn't go upstairs. She came down here in the cellar. But there may be trouble. And I don't want the boy mixed up Jimmy. in it if I can help. Jimmy, Mr. What? Kent! Miss Horn. Quick! She's calling. Quick! She's not here in the cellar. She... Jimmy! Where are... Great Scott, that Mr. wall. Kent. There's an opening, an opening in the cellar wall, and Kent. it's closing. Ah. Oh, too late. She's down the passageway, a secret passageway under Horn House, and the wall's closed behind her. 
But concrete doesn't stop Superman. Not for long. Almost through. I never saw this when I was down here before. Never thought the wall wasn't solid. Well, that won't stop me. Not over three seconds more. Now then. Miss Horn. Miss Horn. I'm coming, Miss Horn. Mr. Kent, what's the matter? I heard the noise. Jimmy, it's coming down the stairs. Back to Clark Kent. Mr. Kent, Mr. Kent, what happened? Golly, that hole, where does it lead to? Jimmy, you're just in time. Your aunt's down there. I heard her calling. Jimmy. Come on. Jimmy. Coming, Miss Horn. Jimmy. 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 Come on, Mr. Kent. I hear her. Golly, what is this place? Jimmy, it's a secret passage place. A gallery. Where does it go to? I don't know. Probably down in the dock. Oh, there's your aunt. She's all right. Aunt Lou. Aunt Lou. Here we are. Jimmy. Oh, Mr. Kent. Oh, it's all right, Miss Horn. What's happened? Are you hurt? No. No, I'm not hurt, but they've gone. They've gone away. Who's gone away? Mr. Kent. Look. What? There's open water right ahead. We've come out under the dock. Miss Horn, tell us quickly what happened. Why did you come down here? Well, just after you left to go to the lighthouse, I heard that same noise down the cellar. I declare it frightened me, Mr. Kent. Why didn't you stay in the kitchen? We warned you. When someone's making free with my cellar, I should say not. So I just locked Tiger in the closet. And down I went. And this time I caught him red-handed, too. What? Aunt Lou, the telephone bell. You rang it. I heard what Mr. Kent told me, and it's just what I did. I knew you'd come. Oh, well, Miss Horn, go on. These men, what were they doing? There was that big opening in the center wall, and I popped right in. Uh-huh. Mr. Kent, they was dragging a big box right down through this gallery towards the dock. Listen. Listen, what's that? It's a boat. Smugglers. They've been using the cellar as a place to keep their stuff, and then they take it away through the secret door of the gallery. Why didn't you call sooner? Well, them right in front of me. Why, they have cut Never mind that now. Mr. Kent, that boat, it got away. I can't hear it anymore. Jimmy, you take your hand back to the kitchen. I'll stay here. Maybe I can do something. Oh, 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 listen. Listen to Tiger. Something's happened. Mr. Kent, that man. Something's happened and Tiger's going for the man. What man? Who are you talking about? Come on. Just, don't just stand here. Back up the gallery. Come on in, Lou. Go ahead, Miss Horn. Don't. Don't hurry me. I, I can't stand. Jimmy, the dog knows you. Run ahead. Call it off. Quick. You bet, Mr. Kent. Hurry up. Mr. Kent. This man. What man? Where is he? Oh, Miss Horn. Uh, mind that rod. Oh. That's it. We're almost there now. There's the cellar just ahead. Why, Jimmy and I found this fellow in the lighthouse. He was signaling. Signaling? Yes, one of the smugglers. But we caught him. And then we heard you ring the telephone bell and brought him along. He's hurt. Hurt? Yes. Oh, my legs. Quick, Mr. Kent. Mr. Kent, hurry. Tiger, get down. Keep him away. Get down, Tiger. Get him up. Down. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. All right, now up the stairs. Get down, Tiger. Down. Get down. Get down. What's the matter with you? Crazy. That's what he is, Jim. Get down. Keep him on. My country shall have the law on you for this. Why, who was that? Where did he come from? Jasper, quit me. Whatever in the world. Mr. Kent, this fellow was here when I ran up. And Tiger was going for him, just like you saw. But the other one? He's there in the dining room, on the couch. Yes, I put him there. And that's what I get for him. In the dining room? Where is he? I want to see him. You stay here, Louisa Horn. I want to talk to you. What do you think I come here for? I don't care, Jasper Quimby. I won't talk to you now, not for all the mortgages in Maine. Oh, I... Uh, Mr. Quimby, that's the name. We're sorry about this. What happened? The dog didn't really hurt you, did he? I come here to talk to Miss Lou about her mortgage. Came to the door. And then I seen that poor feller on the floor with a dog all over him. Thought he was killed. So you came in to help, eh? Of course I did. Who wouldn't? Picked him up and carried him onto the couch. Uh Uh-huh. And then that there dog laid into me like I don't know what. I'll say you did. Gosh, mister. I thought you were a goner, all right. Queer. Tiger ever do a thing like that before, Jimmy? Not that I ever heard of. Listen here, I can't stand around all night. I come here to talk to Miss Lou. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you heard what she said. No. Won't talk to me, eh? Well, I ain't coming many more times. Now, look here, Mr. Quinby. Miss Horn's been upset this evening. Let her get a rest. Rest? Don't you worry. I ain't going to bother her none. I'm going right out. Right this minute. Open the door, boy. Yes, sir. Only please don't hold this against Aunt Lou. She's just not herself. Never mind telling me my business, young man. Just you get that there door open. Reckon I know when I want it. I'll ask Miss Horn to get in touch with you tomorrow, Mr. Quinby. Just Quinby's. a second. The door's stuck. Oh, no, it isn't either. It's locked. There. Good night, Mr. Quinby. Aunt Lou will see you tomorrow. Yeah, maybe she will, and maybe she won't. Gee, I guess he's pretty sore. Is he, Jimmy? Sore or relieved? Relieved? 
Golly, Mr. Kent, what do you mean? I mean he was relieved to be getting off so easily. Getting off? Oh, Jimmy, wake up. Does a man pick the middle of the night in a night like this to come and talk about mortgages? Jiminy, I, I never thought of that. Oh, he says he came in to help a man on the floor being attacked by a dog. But the door was locked when you tried to let him out. Say, that's right. You think he rushed in and then calmly turned around and locked himself into a room with a savage dog? Well, do you? But, but if he didn't... Jimmy, that man Jasper Quinby was here in Horn House all the time. He was here, but we didn't see him. You see what that means? It means there's another secret passage in the house that leads directly into this room. Oh, Mr. Kent, Mr. Kent, can't you do something? Now, Jimmy, keep all this to yourself. Not a word to your Aunt Lou, and that'll be know what it means. I get you, Mr. Kent. All right. Coming, Miss Horn. Mr. Quinby left. He said he'd see you tomorrow. Oh, what's the matter, Miss Horn? Oh, Aunt Lou, you've been crying. Oh, he's so white and still. Just look at him. Can't we get a doctor, Mr. Kent? He'll be all right, Miss Horn. After all, it's his own fault. Aunt Lou, what is it? What's the matter? Oh, don't you understand? Don't you see? You knew I was hiding something, not telling you everything. Miss Horn. You thought I got you out of the house on purpose, and I did. You did? I was afraid of this. I, I didn't know for sure, but when Tiger got so quiet that first night, I just knew. Tiger? Mr. Kent, I know. Don't you remember just a while ago when we let him out of the closet? How he tried to lick the guy's face? Miss Horn. Great heavens. You don't mean... Yes, Mr. Kent, I do. My own flesh and blood. Running with no good and smugglers. This is my nephew. This is Christopher Horn. <laughs> Christopher Horn. At least a part of the mystery is solved. But what of the rest? What strange connection is there between Christopher Horn and Jasper Quinby? And what was Quinby himself doing in Horn House? And why was he suddenly attacked by the dog, Tiger? Next time, more thrills, excitement. Tune in and follow the thrilling story of Superman. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. All right, welcome back. Uh, it was a pr it was a pretty fascinating episode here. I, I really, you know, listening to this series, I am enjoying it a lot more than the other ones. Most, uh, I have to admit, that some of the uh, previous ones have just been kind of silly. This one here, I think, there's a uh, uh, is a lot smarter in its uh, very much. It's it shows I think some progression in writing without having to go ahead and show us uh, and show us the villain. We still don't know. We're four parts into the six parter, and they still have not said, "Ooh, here's the villain." So I, I got to tip my hat to them on that. Um, and uh, we we'd mentioned before the the lighthouse episode in the Adventures of Superman. Uh, well, this episode I don't think was the epi was the basis for that particular episode. There are a couple things in common. Uh, for example, the name of the name of one of the 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 characters who was in with the smugglers was Chris, um, who was uh, who was a, the uh, who was a relative of the uh, of the person who was playing. Uh, Jimmy's aunt. So I could see maybe this kind of got stuck in the back of somebody's mind, and they kind of rewrote it from there. But it is an entirely different story, uh, except except we've got smugglers uh, going on here. All right, well, that's about it for this episode. Tomorrow is Labor Day, and we're going to bring you a, uh, a final extravaganza with the last two parts of the Lighthouse Point Smugglers, and we're going to find out the whole truth of what happened. So stay tuned and look for that tomorrow. For now, though, uh, please cast your vote for us, podcastalley.com, lasersword.adamsweb.us, and email me your thoughts on the program, adam at adamsweb.us. For now, this is Adam Graham signing off.